Oh, technically, I never got I never got You were you were buzzed. Liam was hammered. So you're inside. No, I wasn't what are you doing now? Oh yeah. After that escapade, the guards are not going to say, "Hey, what are you doing here?" No constitution. I am Melon Moon. Sir, I believe you're going to have to come with us. I am Melon Moon. My captain senses are tingling. Eight. Is that combat? Ah, yeah. Melon Lord! Be a yes, because they're trying to grapple you. Sebastian, <laughs> what are you doing? I'm on the ship. What are you talking about? You're playing cards with the Boros and Ketner. <laughs> <laughs> right. Kevin, what are you doing? I. Can I say I just so happen to be in the area? <laughs> Which area? <laughs> uh. <laughs> I all right. Like, this is by all the performing cards. This is, by the, right. this, this is the first time the PC part of the crew has actually been on shore leave. Uh, <laughs> shore leave. <laughs> yes, because every time we've like let the crew go for a break for a night, none of us have actually had a break. This is what we do when we relax. <laughs> yeah. Steal fireworks. Okay. So. Play cards. Am I playing about this? Okay. So. Okay. Where are the performers, him, and the ship in rel in relation to each other? The so ship, general food stands, market, barred area. So bards everywhere All performing right. and whatnot, and music and everything else. <laughs> Loud music, everything. And then firework display. So if I've been walking towards the ship since we last left off, where would I be? Just entering the market. Seeing the crowd surround something. <laughs> Rolling perception or sense motive, or can I just walk over there? Walk over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to do some diplomacy and bluff checks. All right, it's as like, that goes on, Evan, what are you as a character doing? She's heading back to the party, I guess, and uh, just roaming around, seeing okay. if there, if the bards have anything interesting to say. Okay. Um, do you want a story from one of the bards? Sure. All right. Wait a second. Are, is on this crew on this crew ship? Are we allowed to gamble with other people? Yes. Alrighty. Well. I will, yes or no? Yes. Yes. Alright. I'm doing four situations at once, so it's like. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, Don't I'm sorry. you know? I gambled with other the people party. Ship to yes. Yes. So okay. So there's rule of twenty or something, or is there something special? Yeah. Wait. Do I get diplomacy checks or no. something? No. Just roll. You're rolling luck. Mm. 20! <laughs> you win money! <laughs> you win 10 silver! Sweet! <laughs> From a round of blackjack. <laughs> Alright. Um, and now it's 70 silver. You could buy a person Are with you that. You stuffing your bag full of fireworks. <laughs> yes, I'm... What's your carrying capacity? Uh, not very much. <laughs> not very much. A light load is 12 pounds. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. How much are you carrying now? Um, well, I'm carrying 15 pounds with just my leather armor. No, dude, you're, uh, the weight of armor gets reduced with your size. Oh, okay. If you're a small size category, then your armor weighs one half what it normally would. Oh, okay, so then that... With then... weapons, it's one fourth what it normally would. Okay. okay, so these are one pound, one pound, half of that, seven. Okay, so I'm car currently carrying in total... Um, nine pounds. You want to go heavy? What's your heavy load? My heavy load? Just okay. imagining him like. My max load is thirty-seven point five like... pounds. Subtract thirty-seven. Subtract nine from thirty-seven. That's how many fireworks you have. Thirty-seven. Uh, so twenty-six. Six. Yeah. Twenty-six fireworks. You stole six fireworks. The rest he paid. Twenty-six for. fireworks. Yeah, he paid for twenty. Yeah, I paid for twenty. Now I have. So he one. stole six more oh. fireworks. Well, yeah. <laughs> and two pieces of holy bark. Okay. And a part of the pear tree. So, no, they weigh two ounces at that too. So, so I'm just like <laughs> barely move. You're like the thief from Cobbler and the Thief. The thief and the Cobbler. Yeah, it's. I'll just take this here and this here, this here. Oh, this is great for death. This is perfect for the boys at the barber shop. <laughs> One of the people is. The Bards is telling a story about one of the pirate lords being named Bartholomew Roberts. A man with a one of the most 
famous pirates that roam the sea, and one who is obsessed with religious order, and is called a daunting hero by most, man of the people. Add a quest? Uh, no. no. Well, okay. I mean, add a person that you want to keep track of. What's his name? Bartholomew Roberts. He's a pirate lord. You have met two pirate lords now. Blackbeard I... and Bartholomew. Why am I writing this down? Roberts. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> well, you as, a, you as a player might care. Yeah. The character might not. <laughs> Alright, so, back to the market brawl. <laughs> Yep. Alright, so do I notice that it's him causing yep. all the... Uh, all <laughs> Definitely, right. the guards tackling the armored giant of the Triton. No, it's more. Alright. Alright. So, um, well, actually, a dwarf is a medium-sized creature. Yeah. So, so, I like guess that. I would roll for diplomacy <laughs> and ask and, like, ask for everybody, guards included... Get back, I can deal with this guy. So, roll a 19. When people start to move back, the guards kind of warily move back, but they're still watching you. I am Melanor! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what... So now that I, he and I are at the center of attention, what do I tell this guy? Uh, or what do I tell him? You, your character, person. That's up to you. <laughs> yeah, um, you gotta figure it out. Yeah. So, hmm. I, 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 I will tell you this is one of his duty me. things. Alright. That's part of the melon one, so I, I, I will give you that much. Okay, so I say Right, look here, laddie. There's some more melons that need liberating back on the ship. I'll take care of these ones. And would that be diplomacy or bluff? Bluff. I'm bad at bluff as a bluff. You roll sense motive. That's a 14. And I rolled a 14. <laughs> he calls your bluff. <laughs> <laughs> or actually, you say what the response is. I am Melon Lord! <laughs> you start, I picture you breaking the card at this point. <laughs> can I roll perception to see if I can hear the screams of I am Melon Lord? Guy bending the corner. My melon! I was just about to say that! <laughs> yes! <laughs> You know what? <laughs> Perception okay. check to see if I hear the IML norm door screams. Uh, I'm gonna see eight. No, no. I try again. Okay. <laughs> no. uh, I'm gonna see if I can use my spell-like ability scare on him. I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm afraid I of that. I'm gonna roll point. perception to see if I can hear him screaming. Okay, because I'm going back there. So, uh, nineteen. No. <laughs> this music is too loud around here. The storytellers and the... Uh, oh, I was just if, if I did hear it, point. I was just going to be like, nope. You want to hear a couple more bard stories? I mean, it's good information for you guys for the party. I, I decide sure. that I wanted some rum for the private stash, but the captain has the key, so I decided to go look for the captain to ask for him. All right. <sighs> and I go to the marketplace. I could just... see. I now, can I now hear the IML mode? Well, not, not, not quite yet. You're still on yeah, your way to the market. Time. Okay. All right. I, I, I just see Taurus at this point. My pulse senses are tingling. The dwarf's in trouble. <laughs> All right, what do I do? All right. I I think I talk to the guards and say <clears throat> there'll be no arrest in this one. Best we can do is try and herd him away from the area. I I know a place where I can keep him safe. Okay. <laughs> I don't mind what you say. Is this your man, though? I know him. I... <laughs> you know are responsible for the money to pay back this poor vendor whose stand has been destroyed. <laughs> I'm glad I got my half of the money. <laughs> <laughs> I... Out of character, I have no intention of paying the money. I'm gonna see if I can just take off as soon as everybody gets here. 
Right. Am I there? But this time. So well, I say. Well, kind of roll a stealth to kind of weed your way out of there. All right. So hold on. Oh, I don't I, know what's happening. So I, I say, try and get them towards the better. docks. Or load, try and load the melons on a cart, carriage, wagon, something, and see if we can get them to the docks. Okay, but first you have to pay the vendor. He's not just going to take his merchandise. That's uh, the best way to get out of this one. <laughs> Look, I th- okay, I think this would be a bluff check. I think it's a bit more important we take care of him now. <laughs> I don't even have a name. <laughs> so, or the dwarf now. So that'll be 19 for a bluff check. He's like, that is... <laughs> you scream, oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. that might actually be a good idea but I think it's violent with someone. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you the money after this is done. I'll give... We'll find you afterwards, though. Don't go sneaking off. Hi, Arnold. <laughs> that means go sneaking off. <laughs> All right, Evan, you discover here about another really pirate bigger. lord, a rat oh, folk who is obsessed with the lore of genies, who has escaped the government time and time again, named Oruk Rees. O-R-U-C-R-E-I-S. R-O-U-C. Redbeard. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Yeah. So, I'm following okay. Roberts is a human. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do anything with him while I'm gone. I really right. need to use the bathroom. So or Rook, in quotations, Redbeard Reese. Find out about two more, Evan. You find out about a gnome who sails here and there, not looking for gold, but looking for adventure. He's a very kind and one of the hero pirate lords, William King. Referred to kindly as his friend with a a boot. Wait a minute, wait a minute, is is it Captain King? Yeah, it would be happy kid. It would be. <laughs> you also hear about an older gentleman who's uh, very good with kids called um, Kangaroo. The last one you hear about is a Tengu who used to be a slave on a slave ship. He now is free and fights against anyone who sells slaves, deals with slavers, or anything else. Name John Avery. What do you think? John Avery. A-D-E-R. We're probably going to be bad people against him. <laughs> do you head your way into the market, Evan, or do you search for more? Uh, just head into the market, I guess. All right, cool. I should be in the market okay, by this time, right? Maybe you all day. Maybe he could, you could have a spell that would cast him to sleep. <laughs> don't, don't, don't yeah, I'm not casting a spell in the way. middle of a right, city. Right, oh, that's right. Check, check. Unless yeah. you can su- succeed a stealth roll. Well, I mean, if you want to listen to bards, you can and find out. I, 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 I'm, I'm, or you good? <laughs> I'm busy trying to use my uh, strength here. Uh, <laughs> yep. Okay. To carry my uh, my ill-gotten gains. When well, at one point in time will I become aware of these two? <laughs> um. Now. Okay. Me too. So I. <laughs> um. Yes. Okay. I walk up and I see these two. I'm just like. <sighs> I don't know what's going on, but I'm pretty sure it's stupid. Do I see her? Roll well, perception. <laughs> I mean, hey, she... Faye, we need your help. Damn it. <laughs> I rolled a three. Nope, I'm not even hiding. I'm just in the, in the crowd, just like. <laughs> well, don't forget, you can actually see a uh, smashed cart of melons. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. My melons! <laughs> the vendor is just arguing with the sca- Scalar and the guard. All right, all right. It's like, I'm trying to say, there'll be no arrest in him. Trust me. We just got to get him to the docks. All right. I, with that well, mm. I'm going to go into an alley where there aren't people, but I can still see him. 
And then I'm gonna cast sleep. Are there any? Okay. Are there any like the leftover melons just lying around somewhere? Yes. So yes. You, <laughs> you have like, to roll. We'll save. Okay. Alrighty. I go up to the attendant and I say, "How much for a watermelon?" Melon. Melon. My cut has been destroyed. You want a freaking melon? 16. I want one, please. This will help the situation. <laughs> So he succeeded the, the will save for sleep just by one. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's other... over here. Why? 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 <laughs> no, nobody can see anything happening. You know what? This is what I did. I know. You just, you I just told the person, screw you. Know, I took out five gold. I just give it to him, and I go and pick up a few, like two melons, and I'm like, carrying in my hand. He's just, oh, and you can go. Alrighty. I now go over to, like, on the road, like, on the way to the docks. Hey, dwarf! You want some melons? In the name of the melon lord! Follow me! Put them down! I run towards the knox. <laughs> run run the I run the knox. Okay, okay. I am casting, uh. Where is it? I turn around to the melon man. Go! Free your brother! <laughs> Yeah. This we cast one on folks. me. <laughs> oh, I can't cast Urban Grace on you. You get a bonus to move speed if I did. Yeah. Why can't you do that? Because it's only a personal spell. I can only cast it on myself. Dang it. Run, boy, run! <laughs> well, he's a slow dwarf with heavy armor, so I'm assuming I'm going to run fast. He has charge. Right? Yeah. Dang, how fast can you run with charge? It's double move speed. So that's, and how far and is Also, my armor speed? doesn't You're slow You're 20, right? Down. His armor doesn't slow him down, You're but he's going right. to get 40. Yeah. Alrighty, and I have 30, but that's just normal running speed, so I can go like a dart, right? I can just. Well, he's like, going to catch up speed. to you eventually. Yeah. I'm I mean, like, can I do like a full sprint? Because that's that 30 is my normal sprint. move speed. Can I yell so he can hear me? Sure. Drop one of the melons. Try and trip him up. <laughs> <laughs> do I, okay. Do I? Oh. That would be a reverse check. <laughs> Sebastian. You will definitely be able to outrun him because you can run. Yes. And you'll move times four your normal move speed. That's what I'm trying to say. So I'm like, he can run times four too, right? Yeah, yeah but my times four is times more three. than his times four. Yeah, yeah so. it's only charge where you were talking about earlier. Yeah. yeah. He well, can run. Probably he's in charge. He can run, but so it'll be. I got three on reflex. It'll be times <laughs> three his move speed at his You trip over the melon. <laughs> but you don't damage the melon, you just trip over it. He <laughs> up and start yelling, oh, I am melon! Lord! Start taking it off again. Okay, I'm going to try to cast sleep again. <laughs> <laughs> Make another will save. You realize my will is like, 16. Ah. Uh, my will is 6. Oh, well. I mean, that's still a pretty good chance of him failing it. I... Uh, so, so, okay, so, Ileana has... Anyone? Hmm? Anyone? <laughs> <You're the man. laughs> so, um, so, Ileana has just picked up two melons and is running off. No, one. By the he way, one, right? yeah. Well, well, oh yeah, one I tossed one, one behind me. Yeah. Uh, I actually so now have 1,000 so chasing <laughs> Uh, Scholar is probably, like, trying to, like, catch up with the guards. <laughs> yeah. with the guards. She's hiding in an alley. <laughs> Trying to catch sleep. My character is hauling a bunch of rockets, finally getting to the market area and trailing trailing behind the whole chaos here. <laughs> we are as, rest as the crew is getting sloshed, drunk, and smashed. <laughs> <sighs> Sometimes we wonder how we do it. <laughs> Steel is getting worse all the time. <laughs> Why do I feel like the next port we land in, my character is just going to get left behind? <laughs> that might be possible. I think your name Mayor. So what I miss? Nothing. Josh just catching up. Yeah, so, so... So basically, he's chasing after her and they're running away from the market. You're trying to weasel your way out, out of the guards and trying to get them out of the market. She's slowly following them. At this point, she's just given up, and she's just like, I'm, I'm just going back to the ship. She's, she's heading away from the market. Just as my character has finally entered the market district and is on his way to see the absolute chaos that has been has run, run, run. While hey, carrying hey, a whole bunch of fireworks. Hey, hey, why don't you try chasing sleep on the guards? I can only... It only affects one... Uh, yeah. Person. No, no, it only affects... Um, Four hit dice worth of creatures. 
So it's not all that useful for doing a bunch of AoE stuff. And if I do Hypnotize, then it's going to be very obvious yes. who's casting yeah. it. Hmm. And I feel like, you know, hypnotizing the city guards is probably not legal. <laughs> <laughs> so, when you two will ignore my crimes. <laughs> so, so the dwarf just tripped. What are you doing? Alrighty. Um, I, I'm s still running, but I'm like making sure I'm still within sight of him. With one melon. Yeah, one melon. Hey, you still want this? I am <laughs> melon lord! I yell at your character, find something <laughs> to trap him, anything! Well, if you can get back to the ship, Taurus can handle like, it. True. Oh. Okay. I imagine just, Taurus is like, no, I'm, you I'm off. asking you <laughs> to. Can you run faster than me? In like some form of form? My, right now, my. Uh, I can move uh, uh, <laughs> 20 feet. Oh, no. But you have to so. move the crocodile form in order to go faster, but you don't want to I don't know. I think that only affects hey, my look swing at that. speed. Just in time, oh, yeah. the same exact thing happens. He runs by, you see a very tall stranger, all of a sudden you see him. Taurus, <laughs> 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 come on, let's go. <laughs> I am Elephant! It's so I am Elephant! So I'm guessing I made it to the okay. ship safely. With yep. one million. All right. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, you might want to hide the evidence before he yeah. shows up. I just <laughs> throw it on the ship. <laughs> that might make things worse. Oh, true. No, no, no. Well, he sinks, so. Mm. He just, just threw the melon. No, I rest no, it, no, no, no. Rest no. it nicely in his hammock. If he has one. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Please, can you get back to the ship? Get back, get back. <laughs> I am familiar. <laughs> no, wait, I got an idea. I got an you idea. You just draw a face on it. Alrighty, is he on the ship when I get on the ship? No. Like, no. The Taurus is enters after oh, a couple minutes. Yeah. No, but what I do is, um, oh, his horse is holding him right now? And I'm a bloody rage. Talk, yeah, okay. He is. I just thought, you know, I could stun him for a bit by throwing the melon at him. No, I am in a bloody rage. You do not want to hurt that melon. <laughs> It breaks, <laughs> and then you two your characters fight to the death. <laughs> Guess who dies first? <laughs> well, let me put it this way: I have twenty-two not AC. Not the one with twenty-two <laughs> AC. <laughs> no. And also not the one who can charge and use his armor as a damage. <laughs> My hope is to run and run fast. No, all you have to do is like move jump over slightly up the ladder to the crash. <laughs> <ladder, laughs> and then just like hang there and fire arrows at him <laughs> until he stops moving. <laughs> I, no, I'm just imagining him being like a dog. Just well, he can't climb see. up, so he just like sits down. <laughs> Assuming okay, so it's one three. <laughs> I have to roll. Um, yeah, hide. <laughs> I have to roll fifteen or more just to hit him. So, assuming his AC is twenty-two. It is. Yeah, it is. Uh, I, yeah, I get plus eight the range. So hide. Oh. Yep. <laughs> yep. I gotta get good rolls just. You to can run and you can hide, and but if he catches you, you will die. Good all right, so, so set get sail and get on. out of there so as soon as everyone's away. No, no, I don't have right. any no, you experience. Don't get experience in that counter. What's wrong with you? All right, you so want to think about it. He did try to kill. Me. And <laughs> all right, Sebastian, so I'll try to kill everyone on the ship. I'm not playing my character, right? All right, so. It's we really yeah we set sail and get out of there as soon as everybody is on board. Wait, you got Your ship is sloshed. All right, you guys are drunk. No. You head out to sea. <laughs> Just as so long as we're away from the uh, the what city. Do? Don't remember what you do? Don't drive. Don't. Don't, you don't drink and drive a boat. Do we have to drop the guys off too? The who now? Your prisoners. We already did. Oh, we did. Hey, can you hand me my card, Mason? Hey, Mason. Yep. Oh, you. You're welcome. Ah. What did you guys think of the campaign today? It's fun. It oh, I forgot to stop recording.